Hi, I'm Jason Jenkins, and this month on Rural Missouri's Out of the Way Eats, we're here on the banks of Hoosaw Creek at Dillard Mill, one of Missouri's most iconic grist mills. A hundred years ago, farmers from all over these hills would come here to have grain ground into flour. And in the 1930s, the Old Mill Lodge provided a place where folks could come and swim, fish, and have a bite to eat. These days, though, there's a little eatery just up the road that's serving classic American dishes with exotic choices from around the world. Let's go check out the Traveler's Table. When it comes to out-of-the-way eats, few are more remote than the Traveler's Table. Since 2008, owners Greg Curlin and Chris Johansson have been proving that location isn't everything, especially when you have delicious food. A Missouri native, Greg studied at the California Culinary Academy in San Francisco. While in the Bay Area, he met Chris and they married. She had never been to Missouri, and her vision of the state was a bit stereotyped. I always thought it was kind of like a big cornfield out in the Midwest, because Californians don't much know much about geography. To set Chris straight, Greg organized a Missouri vacation in 2001. After visiting Johnson shut-ins, they stopped along Highway 49 to take a picture of the bluffs above Hoosaw Creek. And when I got back into our rental car, the rental car would not start. So we had to walk to the nearest place that was Dillard. And People were so nice and helped us out. We came back the following year and finally got a chance to see the Dillard Mill because we didn't, the car was so broken down we didn't get that far. We came back a year later, this place was for sale and just on a lark we wrote it down on a piece of paper. She could kind of afford it so we ended up just sort of taking the leap. Chris and Greg have a simple philosophy when it comes to food at the Traveler's Table. I love to do things that are fresh and unique and tasty, that's number one. It's not really a science to it, I'll be honest to you, with you. It's sort of what's fresh, what we can get, what we feel like doing, and um, if we've been getting some requests for things, we'll, we'll put those on the menu. The menu's constantly changing except for steaks. I always do a steak on uh, Friday, Saturday night. We call it meat and potatoes. It's just meat and potatoes. Um, we do the pulled pork sandwich and the half pound hamburger. Everything else just changes all the time. I like food that kind of just explodes with flavor. So I try to figure out how is that done. So we just keep experimenting really with uh, flavors from all over the world that, that, that just pop out at you. Regular patrons have embraced the slow food philosophy found at the traveler's table. But you, you just can't pick there's always something <laughs> which else thing that, that you want because mm -hmm. there's always something else that's just amazing. I like the fact that everything's fresh and that's really hard to find these days even in St. Louis. I like the fact that it's not a huge menu. There's something always there. It's fun on a busy night to look out and everyone's just having a great time. That's probably my favorite part. I think this place is very special and uh, I feel at home here. It's, it's really rare to feel at home someplace and for some weird reason <laughs> when we got here it just feels like home. The joke with the locals is you don't come if you're in a hurry <laughs> but uh, we do like to have the slow food experience. Because everything's cooked fresh it does take a little bit longer but we think it's worth it by the time it gets to your table. 